Okay, so if we go on to the next page, we have that f of x is increasing and concave up. Okay, so it says trapezoid sum with three equal subintervals and then trapezoid sum with six equal subintervals. Okay, so the trapezoid sum, sorry, hello, the trapezoidal sum overestimates for concave up. Okay, so they're both going to be overestimating. Okay, but column A is going to be greater because even though they're both overestimating, the larger number of subintervals for column B makes it have a closer approximation and column A is gonna be overestimating it. And sorry, you can hear all my puppies in the background. Okay, um, so then this one, f of x is decreasing in concave up. Okay, so the trapezoidal sum for concave up would be overestimating, and a left Riemann sum is actually overestimating as well, but column B is going to be the bigger estimate because trapezoidal sums are actually better approximations to the actual area. So the left Riemann sum, the rectangles will be overestimating more than the trapezoids. Okay, and then this one says f of x is increasing and concave down. Okay, so we have a right Riemann sum with three equal subintervals and a right Riemann sum with six subintervals. Right Riemann sums overestimate for something increasing. Okay, but it's kind of like what we did up here. Uh, column A is going to be bigger because the one with more subintervals is going to give you a more accurate answer and the one with less is going to be overestimating more.